All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. The Niners making a, I think, what is a very good addition at cornerback here on the 11th of April. That's coming up next. But first, we're brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out, and they do run out. We're also brought to you by Marin Autoglass. Check them out, marinautoglass.com, 415-883-3030. Uh, they do a great job. You lose a windshield, you get a cracked windshield, they'll come out, pop it out, glaze in the new one, sweep away the glass. It's a one-stop shop. It gets no better. Marinautoglass.com. All right. The 49ers getting ready for the draft, and they keep making kind of um, under the radar pickups. And I thought the one today was outstanding. Ian Rappaport reporting the Niners have signed Rock Yasin, uh, cornerback, veteran cornerback to a one year deal. Now, Rock Yasin's an interesting player. He's from Decatur, Georgia, six feet, about 195 pounds, in a lot of ways, prototypical si um, size. And, you know, this guy's got the build for the position. I mean, he, he looks the part. I mean, he really does. This is exactly what you want your cornerback to look like. He's pretty rocked up. He's got good size. Uh, he only had one year at an FBS school. And, you know, the book on him coming out was that, man, he needs some technique work, but he's a great moldable athlete. Um, and what he's got is he's strong and he's tough and he's got good feet. Um, and those are all good traits that, you know, any DB coach would want to work with. Now he has moved around a little bit. So you wonder if his development, um, you know, has, has, has come since, uh, since college, but, um, let's talk a little bit about the player. His name is Abduran, uh, Abdurrahman, uh, but he goes by rock and Yasin is his last name. He wasn't highly recruited out of, out of high school in Decatur, Georgia, uh, he went to Southwest DeKalb High School in Decatur. And um, when he was in high school, he was a two-time uh, state champion wrestler. And you know how much I love the wrestling background. I just think that's such a key component for a great football player. But he signed with Presbyterian College, which was an FBS school, or FCS school, I should say, and um, excelled, was really good at Presbyterian. It was a first team, all big South performer in 2017. And then he transferred to Temple as a grad student in 2018 and became first team, all AAC uh, there at Temple as a senior and, and played some really good football. Now he doesn't have awesome deep speed. Uh, he ran four five, one for the stopwatch coming out. I think he's probably a little bit faster than that but he's got great lower body power and explosion, 39 and a half inch vertical. He's a very strong player, 18 reps on the bench coming out at the combine. And, you know, he's a, he's a really long corner with great foot quickness and he's got good upper body strength. And he's, you know, you look at him and you say, wow, though he's got a lot of the, the things that you're looking for in a man to man corner or a press man corner. Um, he'll step up in the, in run support and set the edge and hit with force. Um, but it always comes down to technique and, you know, his, he, he does too much face guarding. You know, if you go back and watch him, that's his weakness is that he face guards way, way too much. So he needs, he's still at this point, even though he's a veteran, he's moved around Raiders, Ravens, you know, several spots. Uh, but he, he does a little bit too much face guarding. He needs some improved technique work. But man, I mean, if you're a coach and you're looking for a prospect to develop, this is a great guy. And, you know, he may be beyond that point at this point. Um, you know, I'm sure his technique is better than it was coming out of Temple. Um, but he's, you know, he, he's, he's, a, he's more of an athlete who's trying to find his way as a, you know, technique rich cornerback. So, um, but I think he should help. I mean, it's it's a good name to add to the room. Right now, you've got Mooney Ward and you got Diamador Lenore. And you're really looking for and Demo can play outside or he can play inside in the slot. You know, he and then you got Ambry Thomas. And Ambry Thomas, um, I, I would say at this point is proven to be unreliable. So, you know, then the Niners added Isaac Yadam who's coming off of a phenomenal year with the New Orleans Saints. He's a big corner with long arms, physically dominant. He's going to be in the mix. Now you add Rock Yasin, 
You've added Chase Lucas, who's more of a special teamer from Detroit. You've got Darrell Luter Jr. You got Sammy Womack. You know, the Niners have, I mean, if you think about it, most teams keep five corners on their roster. Just count with me. Ward, Ambry, Lenore, Yadam, Rock Yasin, Lucas, Luter, Womack. So you got eight. You got eight guys right now. Now, you could argue that they could use a better, you know, third corner than they have right now, but the depth is there. I'll, I'll give the 49ers a lot of credit. They have gone out in the offseason and really uh, improved their depth on the corner. You know, I expect Womack and Luter and Ambry and their, you know, their young corners to get better. Lenore. Um, and then, you know, Mooney's a high level player. You know, you can argue, is he a one or is he a, is he a, you know, a high level two, but he's one or the other, right? So you got a, you got a really nice player at left corner in Mooney Ward. You got a really nice player at, in the nickel or in the slot with the Amador Lenore. Uh, and then you got a really nice, you know, talent in Ambry Thomas, but he's very consistent at right corner. And now you've brought in competition. Yadam's going to give him great competition. Rocky Sin's going to give him great competition. Lucas, I think, is more of a special teamer, but I expect Womack and Luter to get a whole lot better. You know, as far as Rocky Sin, too, I mean, he's perfect size, six feet, 195. That's almost ideal. He's not old. We're talking about a 27 year old player who came out of college kind of raw. So, um, you know, I, it's possible with the right coaching that the 49ers could really have something in Rock Yasin. It also kind of takes corner off the board as just a dire need. You have eight corners. You have eight NFL caliber corners that you're going to camp with. That's most than that's more than most teams have. So they're in a good spot right now with their with their depth at corner. And now there's a little bit less um, you know urgency to to get a corner in the draft in the first three picks or so you can go for more of a developmental guy that you like in the later rounds or you could see the Niners trading an Ambry Thomas in a trade for a you know a corner or for another pick uh that could be a corner but now with Rock Yasin in the mix and you know you look at the Niner depth there to me, once they added Yadam and Rock Yasin, you added two corners who are really, really, I think, underrated. Um, Yadam, I would expect, you know, Yadam, 6'1", 190 pounds. Um, I love, I loved his talent coming out of BC. He's not old. He's 28. So you add a 28-year-old corner in Yadam. You add a 27-year-old corner in Rock Yasin. Those are young veterans. Those are guys on the right side of 30 for sure. And then you got Luter and Womack and Lenore and Ambry, and you got young players, you got Ward. So I, I like what the Niners have done at corner, especially since the end of last year. They've added three players. Lucas is much more of, in my mind, a, a special team player. Um, but he also is 27 years old, so he's, he's relatively young. You've got good depth there. Um, so I like what they've done on the corner. And to me, they got a good football player today. Rock Yasin has got technique, you know, uh, challenges and he, you know, he's had some inconsistency, which is why he's floated around, um, from team to team, but maybe the Niners can coach him up and get him ready. I love the physical ability of Rock Yasin. I think it's a great addition. All right. Thanks to pig and a pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug show. Thanks to all of you guys for supporting the Krug show on YouTube.